Good morning, boys and girls. Today is June 3rd, 2020. For today's ELA lesson, I will be sharing with you a writer's workshop lesson. Our learning objective is, students will include five census words in their poems. Here are some poems from last week. I think everyone did a very good job. I especially liked these two of our classmates. They showed me different words and phrases to describe their topics. And then they rewrote all of their ideas into a really nice descriptive poem. You all did such a good job, and I can't wait to see what these next poems look like. Today, I want to teach you how to use describing words in your poems to paint a picture in your reader's mind. We want to use strong describing words, which are adjectives. For example, instead of just saying happy, we can say excited. And we can also use describing words that talk about our five senses. The five senses are sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. So they're all a different describing words that we can use to describe our five senses. Today, I want to share with you a book that is written kind of like a poem. This book uses lots of describing words and phrases to tell about the ocean. And as you listen to the story, I want you to notice how the author describes what the ocean sounds like, looks like, tastes like, smells like, and feels like. After I'm done playing the story, we will discuss the descriptions that the author includes for each of the five senses. The story that we are listening to today is called Hello Ocean. Let's read. I will play our story for you. Hello Ocean, my old best friend. I'm here with the five of me again. I see the ocean, gray, green, blue, a chameleon, always changing hue. Amber seaweed, speckled sand, bubbly waves that kiss the land. Wide open water before my eyes, reflected in a bowl of skies. Glistening tide pools and secret nooks. I love the way the ocean looks. I hear the ocean. A lion's roar, crashing rumors toward the shore. Water shushing and rushing in, then whispering back to the sea again. Froggy songs from distant boats. Gentle clangs from bobbing floats. Screak of gulls calling down. I love the way the ocean sounds. I touch the ocean. And the surf gives chase, then wraps me in a wet embrace. Pulling, pushing, the restless sea repeats the same refrain to me. Waves that pounce in rowdy play, tide that tickles with splashing spray. Squishy, sandy, soggy ground. Slippery seaweed that wraps around. Sudden breezes that make me squeal. I love the way the ocean feels. 
I smell the ocean, the fresh salt wind, wafting lotions from suntanned skin. Aromas from some ancient tale disclose their news when I inhale. Reeky fish from waters deep, fragrant ore from holes dug steep. Drying kelp and musty shells. I love the way the ocean smells. I taste the ocean and wonder why it tastes like tears I sometimes cry. Sandy grains in a salty drink are best for fish and whales, I think. I lick the drops still on my face. I love the way the ocean tastes. The sun dips down. It's time to go. But I'll be back to see your show. Hear the stories you have to spin. Taste your flavors once again. Take deep sniffs of briny air and feel the treasures you have to share. Goodbye, ocean, my old best friend. Now that we are done listening to the story, let's talk about details that use the five senses. I charted different parts of the story that include describing words and phrases that talk about the different senses. For example, for sight, the author described the ocean and the different colors, gray, green, and blue, like a chameleon always changing hue. The author also said that at the ocean, she sees amber seaweed, speckled sand, bubbly waves that kiss the land. Also, the ocean is like wide open water reflected in a bowl of skies. And then at the ocean, she can see glistening tide pools and secret nooks. To talk about the different sounds that the author hears, she uses... The phrases, hear the ocean, a lion's roar, crashing rumors toward the shore. As she hears a screech of gulls calling down. For smell, the author wrote that she could smell different aromas at the ocean. She could smell the reeky fish, fragrant ore from holes, and drying kelp and musty shells. I want you to notice the different adjectives that the author uses. For example, to describe the shells, she uses the word musty. To describe the seaweed, the color of the seaweed, she uses the word amber. And to describe the tide pools, she uses the word glistening. So the author is being very specific with the kind of adjectives that she uses to describe the different sights, sounds, and smells of the ocean. Then she talks about taste, how the ocean tastes to her. The author says that the taste of the ocean is like tears that I sometimes cry. Sandy grains in a salty drink. Lick the drops still on my face. And then the author said that the how the ocean feels. The surf wraps me in a wet embrace. So what this author is saying here is that the ocean hugs her. The surf hugs her when the waves pull in. Pulling, pushing the restless sea. Waves that pounce in rowdy play. 
Tie that to ghost with splashing spray. Squishy, sandy, soggy ground. Slippery seaweed. And she can feel a sudden breeze. All of these phrases and words describe the different sights, sounds, smells, taste, and touch of the ocean that the author chose to write about. So let's practice. We're going to do our own five senses describing poems today. I'm first going to show you how to jot down ideas for one topic. The topic that I want to talk about is going to the movie theater. So I have to think, what are the sights? What are the sounds? What are the tastes? What are the smells? What are the touch that I experience when going to the movie theater? So one thing that I can do to help me remember what it's like to go to the movie theater and to think about my five senses words is just closing my eyes. Closing my eyes and picturing myself in a movie theater, watching a movie, what I see, what I hear, what I smell, what I feel, what I taste. Now that I've imagined my topic, I'm going to work on each section and think of some words or phrases that access my five senses describing words. So I am going to say that going to the movie theater, I see a dark theater. But then I also see a rainbow of bright lights coming from the screen. And if I look around, I can see that everyone's eyes are fixed towards the screen, fixed towards the action. Sometimes what I hear when I'm going to the movie theater is a faint whispering from people around me. And then during different parts of the movie, we can hear laughter and cheering or screaming and shouting. It all depends on what kind of movie we are watching. And then, of course, <laughs> over the sound of the movie, sometimes you do hear people opening their snacks and eating them. Now, going to the movie theater tastes like, to me, my favorite treat, salty, buttery popcorn. And I always love to get an icy or a slushy, and I like to mix the flavors of blue raspberry and Coke together. Going to the movie theater, I will always associate with the smell of fresh popped popcorn. And there's different snacks that people munch on. I know the movie theaters I go to, sometimes people are eating pretzels and nachos and hot dogs. So as soon as you walk in, you smell all of the different snacks that people can buy. And then when I'm sitting down and watching a movie, the seats are pretty comfortable. But then my legs get restless for sitting so long. And I can feel the presence of everyone around me. So to start off my five senses poem, I thought about a topic. Going to the movie theater. And then I thought about what that might look like. What what that sounds like, what that tastes like, what that smells like, and what that feels like. And I thought of some words and phrases to help me describe the topic. Now that I have my ideas, I have to write the five senses poem. So I'm going to show you how to take our five senses words and make a poem. Our poems can have words, phrases, or complete sentences. And you can start each line with these sentence stems. I see, I hear, I taste, I smell, I feel. Just to organize your poem and make it run smoothly. 
And also, it's important to remember to write each sense on a new line. And of course, whenever you write a poem, make sure to include a title and your name. So here is my example of my poem. I called it At the Movie Theater by Miss Morales. Then I took all the words from my chart. And I added them here into complete sentences. Remember, like I said, you don't need to do complete sentences. You could just do phrases. Or if you want to write, it might be easier to write in sentences. So I said, I see the dark theater with the rainbow of bright lights from the screen. Everyone's eyes are fixed towards the action. I hear faint whispering from people around. Laughter and cheering or screaming and shouting with people re reacting to what's happening. The opening of snacks and crunching of popcorn. I taste salty, buttery popcorn and the coldness of blue raspberry and Coca-Cola mixed together. I smell fresh pop popcorn mixed with the aroma of different snacks people are munching on. I feel a comfortable seat underneath me. Legs getting restless from sitting too long. The presence of strangers together watching the same movie. Notice how my poem is made up of all of the describing words and phrases that I charted in the slides before this. I mixed some of my ideas, like for taste. I had two different bullet points. And then I just made that one full sentence. So you can combine your ideas together as you write your poem. So now it's your turn. I would like for you to pick a topic from your brainstorming grid. Then think of five census words to describe your topic. You can always use the graphic organizer that I showed you in the previous slides. And you may not always be able to use all of the five senses, but use as many as you can. When you're finished writing down your five senses words or phrases, you could turn it into a poem just like I did. When you're done, please take a picture of your five senses poem and upload it to your portfolio on Class Dojo. You can use the slide as an example of what to do. First, write your topic, then think of five senses describing words or phrases that hit what your topic looks like, sounds like, tastes like, smells like, and feels like, and then take your ideas and turn it into a poem. Remember to include a title, your name. You could start your poem with the sentence stems, I see, I hear, I taste, I smell, I feel, and then add in your ideas from the graphic organizer here into words, phrases, sentences to make up your poem. If you want to use what I did as an example, this will be a good part to pause as you are working. Please let me know if you have any questions about this lesson or the activity. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.